Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey everybody and welcome to After Buzz TV. This is the after show for Castle. This is episode three, Clear and Present Danger. I'm your host, Heather Joy Smith, and with me tonight are my lovely co-hosts. Oh, I was like, you want to go first? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Tiana Hobson. And I'm Alexis McLeod. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and we have Tiana with us tonight, who's not normally with us, but she was on last season's panel so welcome back thank you it's good to be back with everyone yay i miss castle (laughs) (laughs) well this was certainly an episode to come back to there was a lot of action that happened this episode i think it's my favorite one so far a lot of action we didn't see (laughs) well yeah 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 (laughs) it was quite it was quite hard to see a lot of things tonight (laughs) (laughs) that's terrible (laughs) sorry (sighs) where's my little Uh, uh, so tonight we got to see Castle and Beckett kind of um, rekindle their romance, for starters. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But they're coming back a little better from last episode, which was nice to see. They're both horny. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, they just both. Just throw it out there. They wanted it. Mm-hmm. They I, wanted just, it. I think my favorite part was the fact that they're just being cock blocked by every, every single thing. Every, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It wasn't going to happen. Nope. Well, I mean, I mean, it, it did, did <laughs> but, but not till the very end. That was great. Yeah, I loved everything about this episode. <laughs> I, this episode was great, and I the whole time all of us are like laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's happening. So, let's talk about our little murder mystery for this evening. Um, we have Will Frederick. Frederick. Freeway? Fairwick. 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 Uh, Fairwick. Fairwick. I'm gonna say Fairwick. Will Fairwick. F. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> William F. <laughs> William F. Um, is a pool shark and a pretty good one. Um, supposedly, he kind of would swindle everybody's money away from them, and he would win everything. Sounds yeah. like. Um, but there was a little bit more to him that we got to see throughout this episode. Um, after, unfortunately, he was murdered by. Is pool cue. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. I always thought I could be a pool shark, but after watching tonight's episode, I'm kind (laughs) of scared to go into that business. Um, So I guess guess it just depends on where you're you're shooting. I guess I I should stay at like the high end clubs like he was at beforehand, you know? Yeah. Because I think he was hustling at some like weird like O'Neill's bar. Yeah. O'Neill's in Brooklyn, where apparently it's some shady business at O'Neill's. Don't go there, anyone. Go there. (laughs) You don't want to piss off the wrong person. No, No. because apparently you get stabbed by. Pool cues. Pool cues. But come to find out, it wasn't any of those crazy mm-hmm. people. Um, and we got to see some crazy things happen tonight. And I don't even know where to begin <laughs> on all of this because it's so crazy. I mean. I called it. That's all I'm going to say. I called I it. Mean, we were all in the room watching. And I was did. like, I called it. So, yeah. it, what was it? As soon as they, they were checking, I think it was security footage security. and the fact yeah. that the door opened and closed, I was like. Invis- invisible man? man? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they're trying to blame it on the wind. We're like, there's no way the wind goes that way. Well, yeah, Kate yeah. was like, oh, yeah, the window was open and the wind just, you know, blew it in, but the door was opened <laughs> inside. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, that's not how a gust of wind works. No. So, I mean, uh, and it's Kate, you know, she's not going to let Castle have his, his moment yeah. and <laughs> his man. She's going to be the one trying to get him back down to reality because as crazy as his logic is sometimes, you know, it's usually something right in between what mm-hmm. they're both thinking that's mm-hmm. the actual thing that's happening. So. You know what's crazy about, okay, so his, if I were Kate, I'd be like, that is way far off. There's no way that happened. But on the other hand, you know, Will lived on the 19th floor. There's no fire escape yep. going up to his house. The security footage clearly showed no one going in or out. Well. I mean, well. No. <laughs> you know. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave it there. I mean, but what else are you going to think? 
Well, I think what their their reasoning was that it was the devil because of the fact that the the owner of the pool club was saying that he he kept talking about that he went to a crossroad, which brings up a lot of supernatural things, mm -hmm. and that he you know made a deal with the devil. So they yeah. were saying you know of course Castle was all excited about his usual theory of like oh it's got to be the devil, and of course Kate's just like no that's not what it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was great. And it sounded like he also got into an altercation with a na a guy named Jiggy Michaels. So it seemed like all these sketchy fellows were kind of coming up and who really knew what this devil thing was, if it was the pool shark incident. It was like they were kind of throwing like a whole lot of different angles at us tonight. Yeah, and I thought it was great how they kind of very subtly threw in there that Jiggy was gay. Yeah. But like didn't yes. harp on it. Like yeah. they just he was just like my boyfriend lives in Chelsea and like we just kept going. I was yeah, like, oh, well done, Castle. Yeah, well that's done. Good. Like I agree. bringing a little diversity without yep. like slamming it in your face you know it mm -hmm. was it was kind of well done no, like there was like no negativity about it it yeah. was just like yeah. oh boyfriend just and chelsea like, there move, it is, on. move on yeah, yeah there it that is. was great move on. it was good i really like that and they kind of brought in also henry wright his neighbor mm -hmm. for like a hot minute at the beginning there yeah while they're investigating see him no i didn't see anything okay bye whatever yeah just kind of like hmm, okay was like, yeah. oh is he in that important no all right i guess we'll come back yeah. to that later yeah hey. there was a few people in the very beginning that were just kind of like here, there, gone, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They like to do that to you to try and throw you off and make that, you then think I'm, about which yeah. one's going to come back for later. Yeah. yeah. And usually, you know, it's whoever the bigger or the more noticeable faces of, you know, the actors there. But. Which mm -hmm. I had a hard time trying to figure out at this episode because usually I can tell. I'm like, oh, they're kind of focusing a little bit more or they're mm -hmm. not focusing on this one, so it has to be this person. But this time, the, the person who was, or not the criminal, but the person who was being blamed for this one, I wasn't even thinking about until yeah. the very end. Yeah. So, so, Tiana, last week you told me that you're pretty good at this <laughs> guessing game. Did you have any idea who it was going to be? I knew when we met the neighbor that he was going to be involved because Castle looked at his shirt and recognized the... The logo. The, the logo, logo for logo. The, the Terra Quest logo. Yeah, so I had a feeling that He'd that was going to come back into play. Um, so I kind of thought maybe he was going to be the murderer, but then, you know, he was involved, just not in the way I thought. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, I would have right. never thought of that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really give any cares about the girlfriend. Yeah, so. yeah. I didn't, yeah, because she was literally in and out. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I didn't think they were actually dating. I thought she was making up this relationship because they're like, it started six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. like, And they were know, just were friends. Phone calls, and, yeah. and I was like, oh, well, sounds like he was just kind of yeah. talking to, her, to you. Yeah. It didn't really sound like they were dating. Yeah, that was, you're right, it was. <laughs> I mean, sometimes girls need to realize, you know, guys don't think that they're dating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're just kind of like, oh, I thought we were hanging out. Yeah. 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 Six weeks, you're not getting married, everyone. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> the Calm relationship down. was a little Slow more down. serious for her than it was for him. <laughs> yeah. So, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, before we go any further into the craziness of this whole episode, we want to make sure to remind everybody to go onto iTunes and rate us five stars. And make sure to comment, and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to comment, and we will reply back to you guys if you have any questions for us. So, now, <laughs> let's get down to business here <laughs> with this invisible man. Um, Tom Tomlidge was a guy who came into play who was kind of the first person to kind of validate that there was a mysterious mm -hmm. thing who attacked him. And he obviously at first didn't want to go to the cops and, and tell them this because there's no way they would have believed him. So the fact that Castle and Beckett went in there and, and were like, do you know this guy? And the whole thing arose that, you know, this invisible thing attacked him. Yeah, because imagine having a detective like Beckett without Castle around, yeah. and they come to the hospital and then you tell them, well, there was, just, there was no one there and I just felt this force. Beckett's going to be like, write yeah, it right off. off like, you yeah, know, yeah, can we get a 5150 on this yeah, guy? Yeah, like, exactly. let's, right? You know, no, He's none of this away. is happening. Yeah. So I don't blame him for not wanting to tell I anyone. I completely because agree. If I was in that situation, I definitely wouldn't have told anybody. It would have just been like, I, 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 I wouldn't even know what to say, actually. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I just would have. I, I would have probably just kept my mouth shut. Like, I was there, and then it was like, uh, and I was like, ah, and it, it just yeah. sounds, it like, sounds you absolutely <laughs> terrible. I can't. It's almost like you would want to figure out who that guy was who was in there with him, like, telling him, get off of him, get off of him. Like, 
if I was being the one attacked and there was another guy in the room, you'd be like, who are you and what is going on? I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, his ribs were cracked. You can't even breathe if your ribs true, are cracked. So she, true. So he was just kind of like, <gasps> yeah. and then just out like a light. Yeah, that's so. true. So he probably didn't even think about it. Yeah, but I would have been on the same boat as you. I would have been like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, that's how so I felt like this whole weird. episode was just like, what? No. What? Yeah. No. yeah. Like no. the whole time I was just yelling at the screen. I felt so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> So then Beckett and Castle decide that they're going to go back to Will's apartment and kind of do a little searching so for, yeah, so <laughs> for <laughs> this uh, key card to the, uh, let me see, Greenblatt um, what was it? insurance. insurance. Yeah. yeah. It's supposedly in Chicago, but they have him working here, but there's no offices, kind of shady, whatever. So clearly a front. Mm -hmm. Clearly a front. So they decide to go get this key card and figure out where it actually goes to, which was smart, but um, <laughs> not if there's an invisible person on the loose. I just like that um, Castle was just kind of being kind of playful a little bit, like uh, mm -hmm. when she walks by him and he gives her a little pat on the butt. And yeah. Like, oh, what did he say? Something about like a goose or something. Yeah, like, he oh, goosed yeah. her. Yeah, <laughs> and I thought it was really funny. And then like instantly she's like, trying to grab for her neck and he's like ha ha you're really yeah. funny and i was just like no, no yeah. what's happening <laughs> i know that was so weird yeah and then you see like the key card like being yeah, floating floating yeah. and like being yanked and you're like ah oh, this is why you should always close your close the door when you go into a scene mm -hmm. to investigate yeah. because if that door had been closed invisible person would have had to open it to get in yeah and also All just insane. usual stuff Bring back up. I don't yeah, know. Maybe don't you know. should just that, go together. <laughs> that last season on this panel, we talked about that so many times. How Beckett Castle is not your backup. Yes. No, he's, he's not. He's not. He's not carrying a gun. He's not even a part of the NYPD. Nope. Like, you need an actual cop there with like, you. Bring Espo yeah. or Ryan or just a random. There's cops <laughs> There's everywhere cops in that everywhere. precinct. Everywhere. They're just sitting Take there. Take one on you the guys phone. Need to be like a threesome. You know, Castle. It's fine to have him there. Love him to death, but when they go into these situations, you're like, hello, hello. Um, what's he going to do? Yeah. yeah. Grab the nearest book and throw it at someone? <laughs> he actually oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, he just got his butt kicked on this last one, and he couldn't even see what he was hitting him. He was just like, <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, this is God. the worst. You know, not that it would have done anything in this situation, but my first thought is, you're walking into a crime scene, and you walk clear across the apartment before you turn on one light. One light? light? Really? Come on. Yep, that was that was flaw number one and two. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna pull out my gun and try to shoot this invisible person yeah. that's attacking Castle. I was like, so don't much. shoot Castle. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like he just got out of the hospital. Stop it. He's had enough. <laughs> He's been through enough over the past couple months. I know. Yeah. He doesn't need a gunshot wound to go. Yeah, to, to go add to with the list. it. Yeah. I completely agree. Oh I my was gosh. Just, nobody's thinking in this situation. No. <laughs> well, I love that after this situation, they go back home to try and get it on. And <laughs> they think people are still there. Oh my goodness. And They're so paranoid. Classic. Post up all those pots and pans <laughs> all around the room like a spider web. Oh, my and then word. we see our favorite Mama Shades. Mama come in. Shades came in. <laughs> I love how she was like, I was looking for some dental floss. I guess yeah, I found, I found it. it. Oh. I mean, really? You just walked into a dark room and just like assume <laughs> nobody's there. Like, Once again, why don't these people yeah, turn, turn on, on the light? <laughs> <laughs> you walk into the bedroom, you turn on the light because the switch is right there by the yeah, door yeah. for a reason, oh, right? Right. Um, I also love that Castle, you know, told Beckett, and you thought zombie apocalypse <laughs> yeah. camp was just going to be for nothing. Uh, Clearly, he learned something, and it turned her on. So I just, yeah, I just didn't understand how put stringing up pots and pans all over the room is like, oh yeah, like yeah. who does I, that? It's kind of nerdy, and it makes you think like, ooh, like is there an intruder? Like it's kind of dangerous. So done. No, just me. This is why I love I'm you. I'm sorry. Oh, like, just for that reason alone. Like, that was ridiculous. I love me a good nerd, guys. <laughs> Well, clearly, if anybody would like to go on a date with Tiana, all you got to do is string, string up some, some pots, pots and pans, pans and <laughs> getting it on. That's exactly I mean. how that works. <laughs> I was definitely feeling it, is all I'm saying. Tiana uh, hops in. At yeah. the uh, Tiana yeah. hops in. I'm very single and very available. She's taking invitations now. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Don't you want to string up pots and pans for this girl right here? I mean, yes. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> if that's all it takes, it should be easy. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Oh, oh speaking of also that was just ridiculous, Ryan 
in the beginning, I was like, huh, oh my God, yes. what's he doing? He's acting a little distant and strange. And then out of nowhere, glitter or something? Glitter? Yeah, I was like, yes. what is this? And I was just like, oh my God, he's totally a stripper. Yeah. That was my first, <laughs> that was my first reaction. And Wouldn't then apparently. would have been better though? I would have been yeah. so happy oh, instead of him. no, guys, he's a married man. <laughs> I he's think got it would have been child. funny. It's for the child's college he's education. Like, he's he's like, as soon as he said that he needed money, I was like, he's a stripper. Done. No. <laughs> No, you guys really thought that? I yeah. Did. My mind went straight to last episode when Espo was like, well, you know, you can always work nights like security at like a oh, yeah. cookie mark or something. Oh, that was good. So I, I was like, oh, too. clearly he's like doing security. Uh, the body yeah. glitter through me. But I was like, oh, clearly it's at a strip club. And then I was thinking, you know, like a woman's strip club. And yeah. And yeah. find out it's not. not. It's at Manhattan, Manhattan, which is the place I'd love Man to go check I out. I love that name, by <laughs> the way. Right. Manhattan. Oh, that's good. I love how he didn't even give it away. He was just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. yeah. I was like, really? <laughs> I love the little um, skinny underpants, though. That he what did you get? It was like security. 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 I love it. Too big? <laughs> I was like, oh, Espo, you big jerk. <laughs> so rude. That's so rude. That's why Espo is my favorite. I hope that we get to see that. Like maybe uh, they have they have something to do and then they see Ryan coming in or coming out or standing by the door. I just can't see Ryan because he's so tiny. Yeah. Yeah. So seeing him as a bouncer is kind of weird. I don't know. That's it my is. that's my I, own. Thing. I was thinking the same thing. He's a little small to be a bouncer, but but he's also small to be a stripper too. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he's just small. Strippers come in all packages. You're right. And I'm sizes. Sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be judging. Okay. <laughs> I saw Magic Mike. I know. <laughs> Don't act like you guys didn't see Magic Mike. I actually I didn't. Actually see didn't. It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm no. putting her on. I'm still her on not blast. embarrassed that I screamed at the movie theater screen like I was at an actual strip club. Pots and pans, everyone. Pots yeah. and pans <laughs> and stripping. Pots and pans and stripping, guys. Lots of strippers. I'm not going to lie, though. I went to Thunder Down Under for a bachelorette party. Yeah, so. it's fun. Yeah, it was very interesting. And girls do get crazy. Like, there oh, are yeah. those psychos who he was talking about who were like, I, I'm well, glad like, they would be up. like scratching him and like trying to get to these people. Yeah. They it's, might have thought he was part of the show too if he's a security guy. Like, oh, he could sense. be like one of those like security strippers. Yeah, like yeah, policeman, you know? yeah. The policeman's coming yeah. out like I got a noise complaint. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, can we I can please totally. have this next episode? <laughs> that would be great. The strip club. That would be so great. I hope that they do that. <laughs> this would be awesome. So back to this episode. <laughs> Way though. off track. <laughs> Way off track. Uh, Beckett and Castle get the key card while they're at the apartment. Because the invisible person thinks that his credit card is the key card. But Which, it's not. in my brain, I'm like, okay, this is somebody's you, name. There's numbers on it. Yeah, like, do you and not you know ripped key- it off of the lanyard and then. Yeah. I think Castle was doing something with his hands underneath there to kind of switch them out oh. before um, the person could realize. I was just thinking if I was the murderer and I took a key card, I would know the difference that it was a credit card. But, I mean, at yeah, the same time, yeah. you can't go back and go get no. it. No, so. they're already <clears throat> Supposedly running out. And the then door. once you figure out that you have someone else's credit card, don't you go shopping? That's what I thought. I'm and like, it's oh, Richard, I've got Castle's Richard Castle's credit, credit card. card. I'm I about mean, to go. All you could do out. some damage, damage in New yeah. York. In New York, please. I'm done. Yeah, that man would have no money left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. And then I would have bought an expensive ticket somewhere exotic and yeah. just been off the map. Yeah, like I agree. I not be, hanging um, around to get caught. Yeah. Like, leave the country. I liked what you said that you were like, I would have shred that. Or was that you? Yeah, yeah. You need to shred yeah. that. Yeah. You don't keep the evidence yeah. there. Like, what was she I'm going to just, I'm going to bring it back to It's them. like she doesn't <laughs> watch cop shows, you know? Like, yeah. Cop rules one on one. Get rid of the evidence. Also, exactly. burn the bodies. Burn everything. It's the no, best way to get under, rid of the DNA. She was underneath lovers. We've been watching lovers <laughs> how to get away with murder. Lately. Hey man, this show is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. That and other cop shows, I could definitely get away with some crimes. I shouldn't admit that on air because now one day it's going to come back it's to all haunt jokes, me. Guys. But it's all jokes. Don't all jokes. It. I all would jokes. never commit all a jokes. crime. Never. Oh my word. Wink. We should probably get back to the crime. So in okay. The show. <laughs> so Castle and Beckett end up taking the key card. And they go to this <laughs> building that has a unidentified floor. Go in there and it opens right up. And they go up to the receptionist. Oh, she was oh, so cute. Just she like, was so cute. Just like, hi. Hi, how are you? Like, can I help you? Oh, no. Let me help you with a nice gun in your face. Like, yeah. 50 people 50 came out of nowhere. Oh, wait, did she type anything? Or yeah. press did she I didn't even know this. I think all she had to do was, like, call somebody and, like, they knew, like, or, you know, I think maybe the whole room's mic'd or something. Because remember when Castle said the invisibility oh, um, yeah. thing? Yeah. And then, like, home chick, the doctor just comes out of nowhere. Like, what did you say what about that? Say? And it's like, you were in the room. How did you hear that? Yeah, I don't know. Ears are everywhere. everywhere. The government is always listening to us. Big yeah. brother. So this actually goes back to 
where he, um, Will met his girlfriend, mm -hmm. Donna, at MIT. And Donna originally had said that Will had gone crazy or whatever, had to leave. Apparently, no, this company, government, whatever, had to pull him out because they wanted him. Quantum physics or something like that. Quantum, I quantum didn't, engineering. Yeah. There you go. And basically needed his talents to help make this cloaking device to make. Yeah, it was like a cloaking suit or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Apparently he knew what to do, but at the beginning of the episode, you know, the pool guy said he made a deal with the devil, and it kind of went back to that. Yeah, they brought it while up while they were there. Like, yeah, he made a deal with us, like way back in the day. Like there wasn't getting out of it. Yeah, so he's made his deal with the devil. We finally know that, you know, he's not crazy and that there's not, like, a crazy devil running around taking yeah. people's yeah. souls in he's New York. He's not, like, really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He was just extremely paranoid. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if, like, they when he referred to, like, they are looking at me or he whatever. He must have referred to the government. He must have been referring to them. Like, they must have had tracking on him at all times or something. I don't know. Maybe they were afraid that he was going to go somewhere else. And, and probably leak the, the and information. And leak the information. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? I don't know. They're always Crazy. watching. They're always, always The only watching. way to get out of that club is, you know, to die. And there yeah. you go. And that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Because, uh... I mean, technically it wasn't even by the government, but, I mean... He still yeah. got out of it. Yeah. <clears throat> so we come to find out that Donna Brooks, his girlfriend, killed him. <laughs> out of just, you know, apparently. I love how she was already, like, using already, like, large relationship terms, like boyfriend, or we were in love, or I love him, or something like that. And I was just like, weren't you guys just seeing each other for about, like, six less weeks. than a month? Yeah. 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 Six like, weeks. Six weeks. And she was that angry, but it was, you know, it's college all over again. And, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, a repeat of what happened. And he used her for her research, which, which is pretty I messed get. Up. It's pretty messed up. But it's not like he stole the research yeah. and then published it as his own. True. He used it and then created something and then, you know, dropped her. But, I mean, which is horrible. And he does deserve to be punished. But, but murdered. Like, that was a little harsh. That was a little felt. extreme. Yeah. yeah. And I love that they never brought up the fact because I forgot that the DVD footage from the evidence yeah. box went missing. And yes. all the files from the security like yeah, at the all, apartment yeah. were deleted. No one brought up the fact that like she also went back and broke into the police station as the invisible person. Yeah. yeah. And stole evidence out of the evidence room. And no one realized it. Yeah. How did she get in and out that door without, because the guy said no one else has come in here yeah. since you dropped that off the this morning. Had so open. how did the door open and him not see it? He mm -hmm. must have been on the lunch break early or something. He probably wasn't paying attention. Like, he yeah. didn't want to get in trouble mm -hmm. for leaving the door you unlocked know. or. Yeah, or the door left open mm -hmm. or something. No one brought that up. Nope. Interesting. There's a lack of security at the NYPD precinct and someone needs Tiana to get needs on to go it. over there and be like, I mean, is there wrong with Tiana's this? Is something wrong with this? Is something wrong with this? Go shopping first. Shopping first. <laughs> awesome <laughs> outfit. Walk in and be like, hello, my name is Kate Beckett, detective. <laughs> 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 they're gonna believe me. They're like, yes, of course. Because my outfit will sell the part. I agree. Know? Yeah, I well, completely agree. Interesting. <laughs> and then we also learned at the very end too that Henry Wright was the roommate with Tom Tollage, and that's how that whole situation occurred. I like that they brought that all back because I was yeah. like, what does this like, kid have what to do is, with anything? Yeah. yeah, what is the kid and what does Tom have to really do with the whole story? So that's kind of how they brought it all back, and and uh, Henry actually stole. The cloaking device or whatever it was, yeah, to, go. to, to use it. Yeah, because yeah, he wanted it. to find the evidence that, um, that Henry, Tom had yeah, Tom. stole his programming for uh, what was it called? Hitch. Hitch. I, yeah, Hitch. Yeah, I want to keep saying Hinge, but that's a yeah. completely different it's app. Totally which different. It's all about dating. So <laughs> clearly, we know where my mind's at tonight because <laughs> somehow it keeps coming just back come to that. To <laughs> yeah, just just send your phone number out right now. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> no. Just write it down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, his, his driving app. Yes, yes. and the then and the fact that. Um, he just wanted to mess with them, and then it went to a whole different level. Like, snapped, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, like, again, same thing. You're going too far. Yeah. And I like that uh, Will stepped in and was just like, hey, you guys need to you need to chill out. Yeah. This wasn't the deal. You know, you're going to kill him. And, you know, luckily enough, he survived. Yeah. Yeah, both Donna and Henry are both dealing with some angry demons in their souls yeah. because, yes. I mean, 
Henry just snapped and you know to break someone's ribs that's a lot of a lot. force and he's a little guy who he is you know yeah, yeah. He was does a, a lot of like guy. gaming and stuff so he yeah, must be I mean, hitting the gym a lot too I'm, I'm gonna say adrenaline on that one that's what yeah. I'm gonna say and plus if if you're not seeing what they're doing you can't really you can't really defend time. yourself because you don't know, know where they're at yeah <laughs> it's very true I don't know they can come out of nowhere who knows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this whole episode just got me on a, like a what? Uh, I mean, it, it really is like a what just yeah. happened episode. But it was still great because it did keep, keep us on our toes and it was really interesting. And obviously they kept with a certain theme to it, that the fact that it was very nerdy culture. They were bringing up like Lord of the Rings terms and the oh video game. Gosh. Watching Castle amazing. try to be a nerd. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me so happy. And just um, and just keeping to that, which I always... I mean, they've always been good with that every season, every episode. But I like that they really kept to that. And obviously the, the whole tension with lovers and obviously Castle and Beckett's sexual tension. Which mm-hmm. was... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that thing was so thick you can cut it with a knife. I was yeah. Like, that was ridiculous. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. It was. It was great. And it was a great episode to kind of give us a break. Because, you know, it's... You know, with the season finale last season and mm-hmm. then the next couple episodes we've had it's all been you know heavy about like finding out where castle's been and what he's been up to so it's kind of nice to see them get back into the swing of things because you'd seen beckett and castle struggling to get back to that familiar familiarity wow that was a tough one (laughs) (laughs) maybe i shouldn't use such big words (laughs) but you know you see them struggling to get back to that common ground place with between the two of them and tonight you just see it like kind of finally all mesh together and you're like okay i think we're back like Mm -hmm. no more awkwardness you know about anything they're back yeah yeah like even in the field they were they were kind of just in each other's heads the whole yeah. time and they just knew like with the what was it the fire with the scene fire scene, he was yeah. like i love these mind melts yeah they, that like, was I, great i miss these and yeah. it's like yes that's what we've been missing you guys are back you found your groove so do we think going forward they're just kind of gonna push the whole past behind them like pretend like it we know happen. castle's not giving up no yeah. i think i think it's just for right now it's just a break a little breather and then it's gonna come right back in full force mm-hmm. i think that well that's more predictions so i'll wait for should we get into some predictions yes, please. please okay and now you're after buzz tv predictions um Go for it. So I think that something's going to happen because, you know, we know that Castle's been warned now that he wanted to forget everything. Um, so something has to happen where someone comes back into his life where, like, boom, now you're back in it because something great has happened where they come back and are like, oh, yeah, well, like, I know the truth of where you were and this is what's happening now. Because Castle is a mystery writer and no mystery sh- or some mysteries shouldn't be solved. That's BS in Castle's Yeah, mind. I agree. Totally. Like, Castle's not going to let a mystery go on unsolved. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just not in his repertoire at all. So he's definitely going to be back And I, I have answers. to jump on that one, too, that mm-hmm. I think that even though they went through extreme great lengths that, you know, that he wanted to forget, I feel like there's no way he's going to be able to just, like, even sleep at night to mm-hmm. figure out, like, what. I mean, for right now, where they have things to keep them preoccupied, but I feel like as soon as that one little itty bitty little hint comes in, he's just gonna dive in full force. Mm-hmm. And I really like that everyone's behind him on that. So yeah. I wonder if they're gonna kind of extend this whole like him wondering though until like the very last part of this first half of the season, and then just like cut it off, and then we'll come back to it, you know, like six weeks from then, like they did. I mean, they do, they do, they, yeah. they do, do that a lot. That's something they would do. Yeah, I agree. They would mess with us. Ideally, I would personally like to see this mystery part of where was Castle wrapped up by the end right. of yeah. this and have something new happening True. on the second half of the <clears throat> season because sometimes I think that they drag things on just yeah, like a little mo- like too Kate's, um, long. Like Mother's like, Case, like mm-hmm. that was like three seasons yeah. long. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I feel like it still okay. kind of comes up. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Like, she brings okay. it up as reference. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. like keep it moving. So. Um, but yeah, Castle's definitely gonna be. He's gotta find out. He's gotta. I want to find out. I, like, I yeah. need to know yeah. what was going on. Yeah. So yeah. that's why he needs to find out so that I can find out. Because I need to know that whole like, oh, you know, it happened when you were 11 years old. That needs to be solved. Yeah. I need to know what <laughs> yes. is going on. Yes. What happened when you were 11 years old? I what I don't heck? know. But I like that you brought up that next se- next season should be something totally different. I kind of yeah. want to know the whole backstory of um, the chief. 
Yeah. Or the captain. Or yeah. I, I forgot her name at the moment. But Sir. I want to. Uh, yes. I yeah. I always call her <laughs> Sir. But I feel like she just kind of picked up mm-hmm. from where. Um, uh, oh, see, I'm having trouble with names today. Uh, where he, the old commissioner, left off, and she just showed up and was just like, "I'm taking over. Deal with it." And I was just yeah. like, "And call who? me, sir." Yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Who the f are you?" Mm. Like, I was confused, and I want to just, I want to see if maybe something happens with her. Maybe her backstory comes up. Maybe an old lover or crime or something like that that would just come up. And I think it'd be really awesome to. That'd find be out. interesting because be she's never really been a main focus. Yeah, she's just she pops in and out yeah. whenever she can, and then you know puts in her two words and you know tell me right now like you know or something yeah. like that, and then that's it. And then you don't see her for the rest of the episode unless it's something based on her or her and Castle are going at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I just think it would be cool if that if not her, I would definitely want to see something with Esposito or Ryan. Yeah. At least one of those. I mean, we had a like point where... Like, more so separate from each other, because it yeah, keeps going cause, yeah. yeah, I mean... I'd love to see, like, Jenny and the baby, and, yeah, you know, Yeah, because Jenny was in there a lot last season, and yeah. then she... Now you don't see her anymore. Yeah. I don't know if the actress is gone, or something like that, but yeah. I would like to know more more things about the two of them. We didn't see Alexis at all this episode, either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. speaking of, happy belated birthday to you, yeah. because Yay. she just turned 21 nice. on the 8th of October. She's so young. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. So, just turned happy 21. Birthday. Yeah. It was happy October birthday. October 8th. I think it was her, her birthday. They put out a, someone was tweeting and putting pictures like happy birthday and stuff like that. Nice. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, I would like to know more about the other characters. I know that we usually love Kate and we love Castle, but I think we should, you know, branch out a little bit more mm-hmm. and do more stuff about the rest of the crew. Like Lainey and Esra. Yeah. Yes! yeah. I like that they gave us a little, a yeah, little taste and I was yes. like, give me more. Like, I need more Lainey yeah, and Esra. Yeah, we just got a little teeny tiny like, And then what we got, I felt like I was, you know, I got caught cheating yeah. or something, you know, because it was like that look and then they were like Ooh, going away yeah. from each other. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no, you didn't see that. And I was like, oh no, but I want to see more. Yeah. 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 So I, I like them. They're cute. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So, they're so, so gorge. So Ooh. gorge. Do you think that they should get married? Yeah. Double wedding. <gasps> oh my god, I hope not. <laughs> I need my Kate. I need my Kate and Castle wedding and then just Yeah, let's get Kate and Castle married first and, and then, then them. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. Okay. Here is my prediction. Yeah. I think that Lainey and Espo are gonna make it down the aisle <laughs> yeah. before Beck and yeah. Castle oh, get married. I agree. No. I agree. I yeah. think it's just gonna end up happening. And I don't think and I don't think it's gonna be in a bad way. I just think that Lainey and Espo are gonna be that couple that gets back together for like a second and are instantly engaged and married yeah. within like three months. Yeah, that's exactly you know, what just, I'm waiting that for. That couple that does it super fast. And I, they would be the kind of couple couple that just goes and does it like the courthouse and shows up yeah. the next day like, oh, we're oh married. yeah, we're married. Yeah. yeah. By the way, by the way, no biggie. Maybe yeah. they'll go down to Atlantic City and like have, you know, um, Beckett and Castle there too, and then you know maybe throw like Ryan a bone too, and let him come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he could be yeah. the, um, the ring bearer. Yeah, yes. he could be the ring bearer, <laughs> and then they're great. all gonna be like in Atlantic City, like, oh look, we just got married, because that's where people in New York go, right? Yeah, that's like their Vegas, that's right? Like yeah, Vegas. okay, exactly. Totally. So, yeah. and I think I it would be it. funny because then it would show that like Kate and Castle do need to get to have a wedding. So yeah. I think that that would be that would be good. Or if. Um, Ryan and Jenny end up like renewing their vows. It's just something to get them back into that wedding groove. Because mm-hmm. I feel yeah. like right now they're kind of like, we have a month. Yeah. That's it. That's and then it. we just don't talk about it for yeah. the rest of the season. Yeah. So I was like, there has to be something to spark that and go, let's get married tomorrow. Yeah. Or something. That'd be interesting. So everybody, tweet us your predictions as well. And where can they find you on social media? You can find me at the Tiana Hobson on both Twitter and on Instagram. And I'm available for dates every night this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that up. She's an awesome person. You should. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at A Torres890. That's A T O R R E S 890. And you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at Heather Joy Smith. And thank you everybody for watching today. And we will see you in one week from now. Have a good week. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz <laughs> TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.